Fear the Walking Dead season six premiere episode is here, and wow, was I very, very impressed by it. If the whole season is as good as this episode, then we are in for the best fear season yet. The producers are really sticking to the anthology type episode for this season, and I think it was the best choice for them. But enough talk, and let's get into the show. So what's up guys, and welcome back to the Walking Dead universe. If this is your first time here and love The Walking Dead, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Also, spoiler warning ahead, if you're not caught up on Fear The Walking Dead, don't continue this video. But if you are, now let's begin. First off, this isn't a play-by-play -play breakdown, but a breakdown of the most important aspects of the episode, in my opinion. We get an opening scene on the beach, but we will come back to that later. Next, we get our first glimpse at our bounty hunter who will be hunting Morgan. We get a glimpse at how he is living when he is out searching for a bounty. A man runs into his camp talking about being chased by what happens to be Emile's dog named Rufus. I think I prefer dog better as a name. Emile takes his axe and chops off the head of who we learn is Walter. The intro rolls and we get a cool new screenshot of our bounty hunter with Fear the Walking Dead's new intro. Pretty awesome if you ask me, a mile must be the main antagonist for this whole season, right? Next we have Morgan and Walker face to face, but the walker keeps on going. I honestly was hoping they didn't make Morgan immune. I heard many different ideas on my last video about this, from Morgan being immune to radiation to poisoning, and the list goes on, but I was seriously hoping Morgan was not going to be immune. Morgan makes his way to a little town and runs into a new character named Isaac. My son was super excited since finally on The Walking Dead, someone has his name. The two take shelter in the shop and Isaac, who says he was in the army, realizes that Morgan has gangrene. Gangrene refers to the death of body tissue due to either a lack of blood flow or a serious bacterial infection. So no, Morgan is not immune, but has dying flesh due to the bullet wound getting infected. So the smell of this was keeping the walkers away. Rufus was able to track down Morgan. Morgan is, escapes out the back door and was not found. Next, we see Morgan and Isaac in Morgan's water tower that he was staying in. We get a better look at Morgan's wound, which Isaac was going to try to help heal, but Morgan refused. We learn Isaac has a pregnant wife who is about to give birth and he wants to use Morgan to get her a backpack full of supplies because he can walk through the walkers that are close by where she is staying. Rufus has tracked down Morgan again and Emile pulls the water tower down. Morgan was able to retrieve his gun after the fall and instead of killing Emile, he shoots him in the arm. Morgan and Isaac escape again, taking Emile's truck. They come to a stop and have to walk the rest of the way to Isaac's shelter. When we learn a few things here, first Isaac was part of Virginia's group and was a ranger for her. He heard Morgan's tape and decided that Virginia wasn't the best place for him to be. We also learn that Morgan was saved by someone. They stitched him up and left the note for him. Now there are two mysteries in this episode and this is one. Who could this person possibly be? Well my guess is Sherry Dwight's wife. For one, we heard her on Dwight's radio at the end of last season, so that means she was in range before Virginia split them up. She would have been able to hear Morgan's message if she was that close, and we know she wasn't a doctor, so a stitch job would be the extent of her knowledge. That would be a great way to introduce her character into Fear the Walking Dead, but tell me who you think this mystery character could be down in the comment section below. Next, we saw a piece of this in the trailers. Morgan walks through the walkers, but decides that it's better to kill them instead of leave the walkers there. Him and Isaac kill this group of walkers and head towards Isaac's wife. At night, Rufus has done it again and tracked down Morgan. Morgan tries to decide to give himself up to save Isaac and his wife. Before Morgan is killed, Isaac attacks Emile, tackling him to the ground. Actually, a good fight happens, but Morgan is able to get the best of Emile and kills him. He even chopped his head off with his own axe, and it is an awesome looking axe. Honestly, I thought we were going to have this new character for the whole season, but for this story, it makes sense. I really think he would make a good Blade, so Marvel, if you're listening, cast this man as Blade. We learned Isaac was a bit during his first attempt to reach his wife, and my son was pissed because of course finally a character with his name dies in his first episode. I actually liked his character, but he's buried under a pile of rocks after he died. But not before he was able to patch up Morgan and take out the bullet fragments, and he names his daughter Morgan. Interesting name choice, but to each his own. 
Next, we see Virginia open a box with Morgan's name on it, and she gets a surprise of Emile's head instead. She tries to threaten Morgan, but he replies with Morgan Jones is dead. You're dealing with somebody else now. And she realized she might have crossed the wrong person. We get to see Morgan in his new outfit and riding Isaac's old horse. So Morgan decides to build what Isaac wanted him to build, and that was a community of people who want to help others. Now we understand around six weeks has passed, but we get one more thing to talk about. Back to the beach scene, and who are these two characters? They were waiting for someone, but who? They also mentioned they needed that key, and they are standing in front of what looks like a beach submarine. So who are they waiting for, and what key? Could it be a mile, and they were waiting for the key that he got from Walter, which now Morgan has? Also, what is the key for? Well, that would be a great topic for another video. But honestly, this was probably one of the best fear episodes I have seen, and definitely a top episode in any of the Walking Dead shows. I hope the season is as good as this first episode. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you guys all in that next video.